What's up you guys? Welcome back to the channel. Tis the season to shop for more Gymshark. Am I right? I'm feeling holly jolly and merry, clearly, okay? Um, because we got some new Gymshark to talk about. Did anybody notice <laughs> the new stuff that dropped the day before the big Gymshark early Black Friday sale? This launch right before the sale was like the appetizer leading up to the main course. Yum. <laughs> so I did a little bit of shopping and by little I mean quite a bit of shopping. <laughs> so I'm here to share with you guys the haul. This is the new release the day before the early Black Friday sale haul coming at you right now. We are going to be chit chatting about the new Vital Rise, new Breeze Lightweight, and the new freaking collection Euphoria. Hello. It got me feeling euphoric girl so uh, we got to talk about it here. So really quickly, before we head into this video, I wanna take a moment just to thank you guys seriously from the bottom of my heart for shopping through my link on the Black Friday sale. I cannot thank you enough because you're literally going out of your way to hit through my link. Don't think I don't take that like as a serious like, wow, you guys are incredible. And the amount of DMs, I love it because anytime there's a sale or launch day, anything Gymshark related where it's like hyped up, I take the whole day off <laughs> before, like the whole 24 hours, to just chit chat and get like hyped up with you guys and I live for it. So please, if you're ever hesitant on DMing me, please do. Like I love chit and chat with you guys, answering questions and just getting hyped together. So thank you so much if you take the time to shop through my link. It really literally helps me do what I'm doing right here, right now, like this very second. So thank you so much. So you know the drill. If you are not already, definitely hit that subscribe button. Follow your girl on IG for all things fitness. Cause as always, together we got this. Yes. Uh-oh, uh-oh. Did I throw you off with this new background? Woo, Christmas spirit plus Gymshark. Oh. As always, honeys, my measurements will be down below for your reference. Everything will be linked, and I'm almost positive, almost, yeah, I wanna say 99% of everything's still in stock, so hit it up. And every single item you see today is in my true size small. I like to just always go with that so that I can truly test it out and let you guys know if it's true to size or not. So guys, this is not an in-depth, intense review of these items. This is just an overall haul, overview, and chit chat about the items. I already have the Breeze Lightweight and the Vital Rise reviews down below. I'll link them for you. I have those intensely reviewed. But if you would like to see an in-depth review of the Euphoria collection, then comment down below, okay? I'm thinking about doing a full exclusive video on that, so let me know. Okay, so speaking of euphoria, let's start with the newbies. Every single time I hear the word euphoria in my head, I keep thinking of that Biggie Small song, okay, Notorious, except I hear euphoria, euphoria, euphoria. So the cool thing is I got one of each color that the Euphoria collection came in. So I had the taupe tones, the light blue and the black. I wanted to like try squat proofing each color, kind of see what's good with that and just see the overall fits for variety purposes. So you can see maybe, you know, if, if they're slightly different based on color or whatever. So let's chit chat about the Euphoria leggings. Okay, straight up off the bat, the taupe tones, I'm gonna straight up say, I think you know that's my favorite. It was the most unique. It actually has a different look overall than the other ones. The light blue and black are just staple, no different colors whatsoever other than the pop of the logo. It is just one solid color. Whereas the taupe tones have a multi-dimension color block theme. It's asymmetrical design overall throughout these leggings. So they're not completely symmetrical, which is cool. You know, it adds a little spice to the wardrobe when you're feeling a little like a little different that day when you want to kind of mix things up. This collection is not technically seamless, but for me, they have a lot of flat line seams, which gives it kind of that glovey fit feels seamless. Sometimes I forget I'm wearing seams, which is cool, which is great because I actually really love seamless. These remind me so much of their laser cut tights. If you've ever tried them, they're super similar, even with the cuts, okay? You have a lot of like ends here, like the ankles that are completely laser cut. There's no cuffs or anything. So it lays right up against the skin like it's one with the skin. 
The overall compression of these are more of like a moderate, almost higher for me, I would say. They were a little bit snug for me to get on, I'm not gonna lie, especially the black ones. This is why I like to try different colors. The black felt a little bit of the tightest, to be honest with you. I was still able to get them up past my hips. I had to wiggle them up a little bit, but I feel the compression in the band, I really do. It's a nice supportive band. It doesn't gape when you squat. And each and every color seemed 100% squat proof on me. Had Bay double check. So that's a plus. I was very, very happy with that. These are primarily made of nylon and spandex. So you, they, this is like the silkiest, most wicking material I've ever felt, but you still have a nice amount of stretch. It does have the four way gusset and you do have a pocket on the left hand side. Again, a completely laser cut pocket. So it's not bulky, it doesn't have bulky seams or anything. You have a really nice thick band with that laser cut hole ventilation in the back, which is neat. That That's a design in itself, which I can appreciate. I love that little, little lower back ventilation, okay. So overall, I would say they're mostly true to size, but if you're in between sizes or you like a little more of a looser type of fit, a little more relaxed, I would definitely size up. That's what I would say. I thought I was gonna have to size up, but I got them past my hips and they fit okay. So just FYI. So I did get the matching sports bras for each of these sets. Just like the leggings, they were a little more on the tougher side to get over my head and kind of like over the tatties. They were a little bit more restrictive because they are high support sports bras. But again, once I got them over, they fit fine and I was able to get them off comfortably without anybody's help. <laughs> so that's how I know I would, I would stick to true to size for this. So if you're somebody who needs a little more higher support, check out the Euphoria bras, okay? If you're not totally digging the high support training bras, maybe you will like these instead. They have built in, sewn in bra pads no removable. They don't move anywhere. They don't go anywhere. They don't peek out, show through peekaboo. They stick right there. Girl. So you could do anything. You could do hit in these and nothing's going anywhere. Girl. You got it coming up a little bit higher too. So I like that. There's a little more coverage for those days where you just need that extra support. You also have really nice, thick straps non-adjustable and it's all like laser cut in the back. So again, super smooth. This is perfect for mix and matching, honestly. You also have the logo on the left-hand side of the sports bra tilted downwards, a little bit of that like movement, okay? It's not straight across. So it's really just unique and different and I'm vibing with it. I'm not gonna lie, I'm vibing with that. So this sports bra actually doesn't have like a, a band, like it, you won't see it by looking on the outside. It'll look like it's just a smooth, overall, seamless lower part of the sports bra. But if you flip it up, that's where you will see that little built-in band in the front. There is a band there. Hence why it feels a little bit tighter when putting it on is because you have that really nice, sturdy built-in band underneath. All right guys, so to go over these sets, because this does match the white logo, I got the Euphoria long sleeve top. Not crop, just a full length top. I'm almost positive either this is sold out or almost sold out. I guess people just really like that white, that nice neutral color, I don't blame you. This baby is ultra comfortable. Like feeling this entire collection, it is so, Silky, that's the best I can say, is it's super, super silky. If I'm being totally honest with you, because me and White, we love each other, but we hate each other at the same, well, no. White hates me, I love White. White doesn't like me for some reason, all right? But nevertheless, if I'm being totally honest with you guys, I don't really plan on working out in this or warming up in this. I plan on wearing this as athleisure and like going out with some jeans. I have been living for mixing Gymshark with my normal like street clothes, which it pretty much is turning into just everything Gymshark. If Gymshark came out with jeans, well then I'd be wearing Gymshark jeans. But nevertheless, this would just look so freaking cute with some like Ugg boots and some freaking jeans, all right? It has a baby doll fit, so when wearing it, it flares out and drapes really nicely past the hoo-hahs, and it has a really nice length to it. So it's full length, but not overly long either. So it's just got a really pretty vibe to it, okay? Super feminine, and I am digging it for that purpose, okay? You could totally wear it to the gym. It's meant to be worn at the gym. But I'm gonna mix it in with my street vibes, girl. I love 
the way it drapes in the back. You have a really nice like peekaboo backing, okay? A nice crisscross down the back and you do have a higher cut as well in the back. When lifting your arms up in this particular long sleeve, it will go up, okay? Like I tested it out and you will see the crop just kind of like fly upwards. <laughs> so if that's an issue for you at the gym, then totally wear this as streetwear. Ain't nothing wrong with that. But for those who are looking for a nice, like active style to wear over the gym, over your gym sets, the Euphoria tank is where it's at. You can lift your arms day and night and it stays in place. So just keep that in mind, you know what I mean? I got one in the taupe tones and the black, okay? Black can go with anything. I needed the taupe tones because I plan on wearing that set the most because I really love that color block that they got going on. So yeah, I guess both you can say are neutral tones as well. So you can mix and match with other sets. Same material throughout the collection. And these have a very nice longer drop type of sleeve for more ventilation and just a little more of that lightweight feeling. But as a whole, these Euphoria tops are extremely lightweight and wicking. So like I said, perfect for the gym, perfect if you're going for a run and you need a, that extra ventilation. I'm even starting to get my parents into wearing like active wear style shirts on the reg, all right, because when we sweat, we want to be wicking 24 seven. And these will definitely do it. Like, I feel like nowadays I'm only spending my money on activewear because it can fit every aspect of my life. And why not get the most bang for your buck? You know what I'm saying? If I can buy a Gymshark tank for not only the gym, but going out and about, and it wicks my sweat all the time, I don't have to worry about like, you know what I mean? It works for me. I want to buy things that work for AG. You already know from like my stories, I'm pretty sure like a couple YouTube videos ago, I've been really digging the new Breeze Lightweight colors, okay? They came out with this obsidian green and lavender. Told you I was getting that lavender. You thought I was lying? Girl, you should know me by now. I got the lavender leggings with matching sports bra. I did a full review video on the Breeze Lightweight Collection, I believe in the springtime when they first came out. So check that video out if you need it. The compression on this band is awesome. Again, it stays true to its name. It's a very, very, very lightweight of a legging and super stretchy, especially this lavender. Like it is, the stretch on this is like, whoa, crazy stretch. Um, but with that being said, because it is so lightweight, for me, it didn't appear to be 100% squat proof. I would probably give it on the sheerness scale more like 80, 85% squat proof. It is something I would still absolutely wear to the gym. The best thing to do when you have a little bit sheerness in leggings is to just go with a like invisible panty, basically a seamless style thong in a very flesh tone color. So that's been my best friend. And it helps to kind of keep things like not noticeable at all. Cause if you wear a bright like pink or red, <laughs> I'm pretty sure you asking for it, girl. So flesh tone all the way. So yeah, I would totally say the lavender are true to size as well as the obsidian green, but the lavender have a stretch no, like no other. Overall, this is a very simple kind of legging, but you do have the nice dotted contour going down the leg, which makes it its own unique look, okay? This is what makes the breeze light stand out. You also have a little bit of broken up texture on the bottom lower half of the legging as well. And you also have a raised seam contour down the bow tire to kind of um, cinch that little peach in a little bit. So if you're somebody looking for a super lightweight pair of seamless leggings, high-waisted with a nice kind of compressive band to kind of keep things tucked in, but yet so freaking lightweight, then totally check out the Breeze Lightweight, period. I already talked about the sports bra that they came out with in the Breeze Lightweight collection. So yes, this is a recent new release because they never used to have a Breeze Lightweight sports bra. I'm really happy that they came out with one to complete the set. This one is more of a low support sports bra, okay? But it works very, very well for me with somebody with barely their tatas, you feel? They have really nice thick non-adjustable straps and it's overall got that like scoop neckline on the front and back, very cohesive, very beautiful. And this lavender color, oh! This lavender is super pretty. I don't really have many purples in my collection. 
So this, this added in that nice, very Asian that I need. I'm gonna be whipping this out. This is like a Halloween and spring color in my opinion. All right, maybe even summertime. Bay calls it a fresh purple, whatever that means. What, what is fresh purple? But I'm gonna go with that. It's a fresh purple. <laughs> I got a matching tank top, okay. I had to get the throw over. Okay, so I got the Breeze Lightweight Tank. This baby is an oversized, feeling like you wearing nothing but the nude, girl. You won't feel this tank when you put it on. It is so, so loose. You got an insane, insane drop sleeve here. So if you are a sweater who needs ventilation, you need this one. It's so lightweight, it ain't even noticeable. It comes along as well. What I've been liking to do, especially like the spring, the summertime when it's a little warmer out, I love wearing jeans and tucking these loose tanks in. It gives such a casual vibe. It really just makes me feel like, oh, I'm free. Yay, alas, I'm free. You got the nice racer back. You have a lot going on on here in terms of contour movement and even subtle ribbing. If you look really closely, you can see a lot of dotted contour on the back a lot of like lightweight rib, and you still have the very cohesive and matching dotted contour. So these, I mean, you just like can get a whole freaking set. If you're feeling conservative, wear the tank. If you're feeling a little bit naughty at the gym, take the tank off and let it hang out. I also had to grab, just for mix and matching purposes up in here, I had to get the black crop top of the Breeze Lightweight that is a drawstring. If you're looking for something to throw over your set, but you still wanna show the tum-tum real nice, get the drawstring tops. They are like to die for. The black is super pretty because I can add this over my obsidian green or my new purple color, like, or the old ones that I have. So it works for anything I need it to. Staple black pieces, don't get it twisted. We need it in our wardrobe, girl. I love it because you can keep it super, almost boxy looking if you'd like, or you can draw it in with the draw cord and make it cinched in, kind of like a baby doll look. It almost looks like you are just tucking a shirt underneath your sports bra to kind of make it look cropped. It gives that kind of look. So again, very casual, very lightweight, especially if you live in a very warm environment or you need something lightweight for the summertime, 100%. Yes. Or if you work out in a really hot gym. Keep that in mind. All right guys, so last but not least, if you guys noticed there were new Vital Rise colors that dropped. I had to get my freaking hands on that light gray marl, okay? You know when it comes to like neutrals, I have to get my hands on every single solitary one that they offer, right? Neutrals are life. So if you guys recall, I believe it was over the summertime, I did a Full video, in-depth, like detailed review video comparing the OG Vital versus the High Rise Vital, okay? I did briefly note that I personally preferred the OG just for what I need in particular set, okay? But don't get it twisted because the Vital Rise is still dope AF. The Vital Rise in a nutshell has a little bit more features than the OG Vital Seamless, okay? They are both seamless, obviously. They are pretty much virtually the same thing with the same contour, same exact styles. The main differences are that the Vital Rise offers a nice scrunch butt, the same type of scrunch that you would see on the camo, seamless. Scrunch butt life up in here, I love it. The band is also significantly thicker. It has a pocket for a little bit of storage if you wanna put some personal items in there with you if you're going for a walk. Um, and it's just overall just like a thicker, bigger band. So I definitely find a purpose in this if you need these extra features. So this is something I would pick if I'm going for like a nice walk going out with Bay and I wanna hold a lot of stuff, but I still want a really nice compressive legging, I would pick the Vital Rise over the Vital OG. But for normal leg day or whatever, it'd probably be the Vital OG. Light gray though, oh my God, I got it in the normal Vital OG. They came out with this color last month, I believe, in the regular Vital Seamless. And I snagged that one and I love it. So when I saw they came out with this color again in the Vital Rise, I said, well, obviously. You know I'm gonna get it, right? This to me is the perfect 
winter legging color. Oh, you can mix it with red, burgundy, icy blues, dark blue, navy blue. You can even mix it with freaking obsidian green, like match that Christmas tree, girl. So anyways, I think I made my point. Like this neutral is mm, just everything for me. But though, <laughs> being that they are such a super light, crispy gray, <laughs> They are maybe about 85 to 90% squat proof on me. Okay, that's just me. That's just my bootay in daylight. But I wanna also note that the scrunch actually kind of works in your favor in kind of concealing some of that, you know, that backside action. <laughs> so uh, yeah, the scrunch works in your favor for that. <laughs> And as far as the Vital Rise Sports Bra goes, it does offer a little bit more, in my opinion, support than the normal low support Vital Seamless Sports Bra. So if you're somebody who has a little bit more to play with up here, is that where I'm gonna go with that? Um, and you need a little bit more of that extra support, I would probably go with the Vital Rise. Do a little bit of mixing and matching. That never hurt anybody, it's A-OK. -okay. Mix it up, girl. They actually have what looks like the identical sports bra, okay, of the OG, but they add on an extra layer and add on some extra straps. So you have extra support in all areas, a little bit more of that compressive feel up top. It's just a little of that extra reinforcement, but don't get it twisted. You still have removable bra pads, so you can play around and do what you need with this. It's an overall really cute design as well. I feel like it's, it's unique in its own, so it's got that like, woo, kind of like, what am I looking at right now? Double layer action? Okay. All right, guys, so that was my full new release Gymshark haul. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and found it helpful. Definitely check everything out. I will have it linked below for you. There is definitely a nice mix-up, as you can see, of new releases, okay? Some new non-seamless, some new seamless, newer colors of pre-existing collections. So there's definitely a nice variety and definitely stay tuned because there's some really exciting stuff coming your way in the month of December. Also, please note that the Gymshark Early Black Friday sale is still going on. Still going on! <laughs> so definitely hit that up in case you missed it, but uh, they still got some stock left depending on your country. Give it a check. So overall, I'm really pleased with today's haul. Mm, I just rhymed. But please do feel free to comment below if you'd like to see an in-depth review of the Euphoria collection because I've never done that before. It's a brand stinking new collection. So let me know and I got you. And you already know the drill. If you have any questions at all, comment down below and I will get back to you for sure. As always, thank you all so, so much for watching. I appreciate each and every one of you and I will see you in my next video.